I'll work on that a little bit more. I'm going to do straight line string. I'll string a string from right here all the way along the outside of the fence and go straight on out. And then watch what you're doing. Watch the string line. And you, as you pull it, what you're trying to do is put the string a long distance out and make when you when you pull out you're trying to make it touch the fence from a long distance and that's going to be a straight line as best you can be and uh, maybe i'll take you along and show you how i do that i think i'll go ahead and do some of that set a couple posts and then probably go in before it gets too hot because the heat affects you also with this stuff all right let me go ahead and start that all right if you remember i was talking about running a string line to try to get a straight line if you can to set your post i attached my string all the way down over to where the pigs are getting their feed way across there and as you can see the fence does bow out a little bit i'm not too worried about that so i put my line higher up where the fence is more straighter half inch i figured maybe if you look here's my string go back up again you can see it's almost straight so this is going to be a new line we're right there very close i gave that half inch because it had bolts in the fencing and i think you all can see the bolts. there we go here's our straight line and then what i'll do is i'll take a measurement i'll run my i gotta run uh three more T-posts along this line. can see we have pretty much a straight line now I do have to move the posts around a little bit I didn't bang them any further I'm just trying to do a quick basic hit where they need to be I uh, sink them down further I'm trying to get this whole thing outlined and then I'm gonna go back and recheck make sure everything's right before I start installing the panels but there you go you can see the straight line it's pretty good so okay Time to move on to the next spot. All right, what I've got now is from the third T post right there. From that third T post, we've got one here, two, three. Third one to this one is 11 feet. So I'm carrying that 11 feet all the way down over here to this T post right here. And I went from 11 feet to that T post you see there, the green one, the white top. And from this T post to the corner of that fence is 32 feet. So I went from that T post over there, or that third one, over this way to 32 feet. So we're 11 feet by 32 feet is what we're going to fence in. We're going to go ahead and set the next three T posts. guys sorry for the music but I am listening to music right now hey girls how's everybody doing doing good we're going to expand your place in just a bit you know I've got uh, I got this back two panels which is 32 feet from here all the way back to that back T-post. That's 30. There's a T-post. Uh, I only 
let's see here. Yeah, I have only two T-post clips on them now. I'm going to get this all up and I'm going to run through and then put another T-post clips in the middle. A third one. So, I'm going to go ahead and start on this one here. And as you can see, I kind of did a trench all the way across. So, that is buried down some. And uh, I've done all that. This is the same way. It's trenched in. And I'm going to start trenching right here. Over there, I'm going to have to put bring a load of dirt in with my bucket. It's low right there. And that's fine. I can always make the fence go down. In fact, I've got a fence panel that has a bow to it. Right back in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but I may use that. I thought that would be junk panel, but I just might have, might have found a home for it. Set it there and just let it curve down. I don't know. We'll see. Use what you got. Alright guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, trench and start sending some more. What? What do you want? What? How come you can't be quiet like these two? I just changed that bucket for him. Look at that, it's already muddy. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? All right. You see, I've got panels on here. You notice I put the panels on the inside of the T-post so the pigs push on them. They've got the T-post that's against it. So they're all in, all the way around. Let me show you what I'm going to do over here. Over here, like I told you, the top of this T-post, I will wire to the top of this T-post, same as that second one. But the purpose of me doing this is I'm going to have a slide gate that goes right between here. So when I want to separate pigs from whenever they have their piglets, I can put that in there and I'll have to build another pig deal over here and another water system move on over whatever hey you're a homesteader it never ends right but right now that's what we're gonna do so we'll have a slide gate so tomorrow the goal is to take out the cattle panel all the t-posts take the chain link break it loose right there take another cattle panel which I have over there and it fits that spot between that chain link post in the back. So I'll put as normal. I don't push the uh, the button to record. I don't know. Anyway, what I've done is the back, this back panel, that whole panel was back on the back side in there. I took the T post I'm not going to use. I've already got all the fencing loose. I am loose, loosening up this torsion bar right here. I gotta get my shovel, dig down there a little bit, and get to that one down there, and then I gotta reinstall on that side. Then I drop the fence, and then uh, so the pigs can have freedom in here. And then I gotta remove the fence on the bottom, the uh, strap that goes across. Right now, because the fence is so loose, they're able to grab all that, so I need to throw them in some treats. So if they quit pushing on that, let's do this. There. Get in here. All right. Let them go on in, and then I'll remove that chain link fence. And then when that's done, I have already made, right here, you can see that fence panel. And that fence panel was not long enough. Um, I had to extend it uh, 20 in, uh, 24 inches, and I cut that end all the way off, so that way I can feed that fence through the chain link, so it also locks it in there too. And I still left three T-posts to attach, attach this to. All right, I'm going to get going. Look at these two pigs. They are absolutely having a blast. That fence fell over. And I had to, I had to where they were walking, make sure they didn't get their legs caught inside the, the fencing. They were just happy to get out and run in. And I got to put also put that other panel on that side. So there's a quick update, and let me keep on going. I'm gonna have to get. I got Big Mo over here. I believe I already told you guys. Every time I talk about Big Mo, it's either a big screwdriver or a big pair of tweezers. What do you think of that? 
that's big mo and there's another big mo but there's my tweezers <laughs> all right let me get in there all right i got this whole paddock area for them done um other than the i told you before that i'm going to be when i need to i can slide a gate through there to block off separate this but for right now that ain't going nowhere i have uh wire tied here it's tight the third one's done i still need to tie that one right there but i, I can get that later no big deal but uh, if you see i also brought in cattle panel on the back side there i took that big one out i told you and there's the other one i just put in its place so there's a cattle panel just like everything else but there it is there and now this is all open they've been in here for oh i don't know for a couple hours now but they've got all that straight on back it's 32 feet by uh by uh 11 and a half i think i said 13 now it's 11 and a half and it looks like they just made that their new drop zone if you know what i mean they've been over there a bunch i know the other one was right there anyway all right um oh, feels like i just got bit by something uh, an ant <coughs> anyway it all looks good over here uh <laughs> Look at her, she's right inside the water. Oh, they've been in there a bunch today too. I need to add some. Let's turn the spigot on for them. They've been drinking out of their water deal, their nippler. Now I can go ahead and clean this all up real quick because I had all that fence in there. I get that stacked up over there for right now. Need to find a new home for it. But this is pig paddock. Enlargement is something that I have been really really needing to do It's done. I fixed that gate That's right, done. I'm, hot. I'm tired. Let me feed these animals and I'm gonna go enjoy some AC Thanks for watching guys always hit that Thumbs up button. Thanks for commenting Share with everybody tell everybody It's great One last look at the pigs Time to shut that off. Nope, oh, gonna jump in with the spigot running. Nope.